welcome to week 21 of my pregnancy update. Got enough time to sort out all the fights. Yeah. Sort out the lies. Hi, I'm Hills. If you have not followed before, I am 40 and pregnant with my third baby, third and final, and this is also my third boy. Because I know that this is my final pregnancy, I am tracking this journey. I want to remember every minute. And so week by week, I'm going to be giving updates. And I'm also going to make sure that I do some other videos, such as what I'm wearing during this pregnancy, some beauty routines, and of course, the things that I'm going to buy for the baby. Firstly, I have to apologize, I look so awful today. I'm trying not to look at myself in the monitor. I'm squeezing this in between a crazy work day. I have lots of calls and meetings today. And so, yeah, this is what you're getting, sorry. I think the biggest updates this week is that I told the world, as in I told beyond my very close family and extended uh, family and friends that I am pregnant. There are so many people that I haven't told yet, partly because I wanted to be sure that everything was good and the baby was healthy and also because I have not been in the office and so I've not seen people I've been out socially as much with my friends in London and so there are lots of people that haven't seen the size of me and so haven't known that I'm pregnant and so I decided to share it this weekend. The response was amazing, I did it on Instagram, I did a little reel that showed, you know, finding out I was pregnant, also showing the gender reveal and just also explaining a little bit about you know, how this was a bit of a surprise, but but here we are. So if you want to see that, head over to Instagram Work Life Mum and you can see the reel there. I can't tell you how good it feels just for everybody to know now. I am not good at keeping secrets. I am not good at not being an open book really. I'm just such a transparent person. So to have this kind of massive thing happen in our lives and for me not to be able to share it was just very, very bizarre. And so I'm so glad that I can now talk about it freely. I don't have to hide myself in pictures. And it's amazing, even though I did hide myself, how many people said, I knew it, I knew you were pregnant. So there must be some bloat happening in the face or something changing. Maybe it's glow, maybe I'm just glowing, but people somehow have known that I've been pregnant, even with me being so careful. The thing that I've continued to really struggle with this week, but it's, I would say it's kind of ramped up a level, is the, if you saw last week's video, you'll see that I went from being really low risk to high risk, mostly because of a problem with the uterine artery that goes into the placenta, which indicates a very high chance of preeclampsia. That has just made me more anxious than I was before. I was more anxious anyway because of my age, because I know that this is definitely the last time that I'll have a baby. I think I just want everything to go as well as possible and that is me in turn making me even more anxious. So even though I'm feeling the baby moving a lot, if I've not felt it move for 30 minutes, even an hour, I start panicking. And I know it's completely irrational. The baby is probably sleeping, but for some reason, I'm just not able to talk myself off that ledge. And it's such a shame because it's stopping me enjoying the pregnancy properly because I am just being overly paranoid about everything that's happening. It's probably not helping the blood pressure. Even though our blood pressure is still really low, it has gone up a bit. Um, I was under 100 consistently, under 100 and over 50 something, so really low blood pressure. And I'm sorry, I'm not a doctor, so I don't even know what those numbers mean. 
It's now gone into 105 to 110, over 60 something. So it's definitely creeping up. Maybe that's normal in the second trimester, um, but that's been worrying me a little bit. I have been taking two aspirin a day, taking vitamin D. I've not been taking Pregnacare because my midwife advised to stop taking that after the 12th week, but I am taking, you know, vitamin D as advised. So I'm doing everything that I'm meant to be doing. I'm looking for signs of preeclampsia when they're probably not even there. So for example, my fingers, they, they feel to me kind of swollen. They're probably not, but they, they kind of feel to me like they are. Um, even though I can still get my rings on and off, no problem. So I, I think some of it is just in my head as well. I would love, quite honestly, if I could just relax. I think I'm also putting pressure on myself about work, making sure maternity cover is in place, making sure the team are as set up for success as possible so that I can go out and relax. But one of my mentors said to me this week, you know, you can never guarantee a perfect year. And so make, you know, the organization miss you a little bit. Don't have it be so perfect for you stepping out. So I'm trying to take that advice on board. I did want to show you one of the things that I got to help with the anxiety. This is my paranoia. But one of the things that I got was this fetal, I'm going to show you fetal heart rate monitor and I'm doing that just once a day normally after dinner. I'm showing you closely because it actually doesn't say the name of the brand but it's good. There's not brilliant reviews about it on Amazon even though it's one of their best sellers. Um, I think it's three out of five stars but almost all of them are three out of five stars in that price range. Um, but I can recommend this one. It is working well for me. Maybe I'm just lucky about where the baby is positioned, but I've not had any problem getting the baby's heart rate. And you can tell it's the baby's heartbeat and not your own because of the speed that it's going at. So if anyone would like to get this, it's around 50 pounds, I think. It's on Amazon, um, but it doesn't have a brand name. Ah, sleep, the constant um, ebbs and flows of our sleeping patterns during pregnancy. I have got loads more energy during the day, then I crash big time, be just before, just after dinner time. So normally when I'm like trying to get cleaned up and get the kids to bed, I'm just so done at that time. If somebody said I could go to bed right then, I would. I would go to bed and probably go to sleep. But of course we can't, we have other things to do. So I um, have been, you know, getting the kids to bed and then trying to get myself to then go to bed right after the kids have gone to bed. But for some reason, I'm getting extra energy then. And so I end up staying up watching TikTok or watching a show with my husband and so I've not been going to sleep until close to midnight every night and I get up around 6.30. Obviously I'm not doing myself any favours, I should be going to sleep at around 10, waking up at 6.30 and I'm sure I would feel much better throughout the day but it's just so different the second trimester to the first trimester. The first trimester it's like crawl your way through the day just to get to the time where you can go to bed. But the second trimester, you get these bursts of energy and then the exhaustion and then a burst again and then exhaustion. So it's a, it's a bit more confusing. Maybe it's just trying to prepare us for life with a newborn. The other symptom this week is baby brain extreme. It, it's like baby brain, then some. There are people that I know incredibly well whose name just completely goes out of my head. An example this week was Johnny Depp. So there's this trial going on with his ex-wife and him. He's all over TikTok, all over YouTube, all over the news. 
Obviously he's one of the world's best known actors and at one point this week nothing could get me to tell you what Johnny Depp's name was. So baby brain is tricky. When I connect that to work, that's not brilliant because I keep forgetting things about work. I keep forgetting what we discussed on our last call or what we agreed were next steps or whatever it might be. Um, and the thing that I think is making that a bit trickier is that most of my team are now back in the office together and I'm still virtual and dialing into things so it's you know it's that kind of odd dynamic as well that they're all together and I'm not and I'm not overthinking it too much because I start to get you know worried about lack of proximity but it is strange when everyone's gone back to the office and I'm not there but I'm just trying to enjoy it. This is, again, the last pregnancy, so I need to just relax and enjoy. Let me show you the bump for this week, see if there's any difference from last week. So you can't really see anything. This is just an oversized jumper, actually, um, from H&M, it's not maternity. And I have just standard, um, leggings on but they are fabletics just over the waist leggings um, but here is the bump this week in black it doesn't look that big but it's you can definitely tell I'm pregnant now that is it for week 21 I'm officially 22 weeks today actually and um, so next week's update will be coming soon uh, please do subscribe follow along on Instagram and TikTok on work life mum and I will see you next week for week 22 have a great week Just thought I should let you know